go. But 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 make but make no mistake about it, it's locked and loaded. Can, can, <laughs> can I ask a can <laughs> Trump I ask is like, why can't I question get this? about this? Yes. I mean, please. I've been listening to yeah. all of this about Trump and watching how this conversations go in the U.S. And I have mm-hmm. one question about it. I mean, there's all these people in the U.S. who are on the conservative side who are aligned with Trump for all sorts of reasons, and there's all this tension around his presidency and attempts to pull him out of his office for various reasons. And I, what what do you think will happen if that comes to pass? What what do you think will happen to these people that have identified with Trump and and like? How is it that, Repo- that, that Democratic types, for example, are holding out their hand to say to these conservative types, sort of like, welcome back into the fold? Because it looks to me, from an, out- from an outsider's perspective, that, y- that your country is polarizing in a way that's not good, and that, you know, people are going after Trump. And I understand that. It's not like I don't understand that. But there's all these people that elected him and that are identified with him, and they're, they're not taking this well, you know? And so, well, they're not. They're not. It's not... And, you know, do y'all understand this question so far? Hopefully you do. Because he's, he's saying uh, with all the vitriol y'all are going at Trump with, um, what about his people? What about the people who believe in him? What about the people who he represent um, the most? The people who he represent the most. Now, don't say, oh, he represents everybody. Yes, he did as the president of the United States. That's, but um, the people who voted him in office and the people who he did his stump um, speeches for, and they wore the you know the MAGA hats and, and and shirts and all of the apparel, and they just championed him. They was his huge fans and supporters. Um, that's what he's talking about. Because with the great deal of, it, okay, y'all gonna hear the rest of it, but I just want I just want y'all to see what happens right now. It's yeah, they're not taking this well. You know, and so, well, they're not, they're not, it's not, and, you know, you might not think they're they're very bright and all of that, and, and, you know, they're backwards and, and, and all of those things, but, 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 you know, you need to have respect for the rest of your citizens, and if you're, if your country isn't going to pull itself apart, and I really see this happening from an outsider's perspective when I come down here, and I lived in the States for a while, and it wasn't like this before. If he, if he was just a regular Republican president with Republican policies, I would say you'd have a point. But what, what is so alarming is the assault on democratic norms, what we were talking about mm-hmm. here today. Things like threatening to put people in jail, threatening to put journalists in jail, wanting military parades, praising dictators, wanting to be a dictator. I mean- so they're pointing out all the reasons why they go so hard on him. Um, and he just saying, this is why. We did what we did, but I want y'all to see what happened next. Wanting military parades, praising dictators, wanting to be a dictator. I mean, we are at a moment here. This is, I try to impress on this on the people who are too young to remember a lot of presidents and a lot of elections, mm-hmm. how incredibly different this is than anything that ever came before. I never much liked the other Republicans who were in office, but I have a renewed respect for them. George, <laughs> George Bush and Mitt Romney would not have tried to pull this shit. They just wouldn't. What about Nixon? Nixon got caught, and he gave himself up, basically. Well, although, he, although this president makes the Watergate burglars look brilliant. Right. <laughs> well, but- okay, what does, he, what does he mean by that? Um, guys, I'm really trying to understand all of this right here. Because y'all see what, what side that Jordan Peterson is coming from. But you see the side that Bill Bill Maher is. Bill Maher is as real as, real as it can get. Um, of course, he's definitely left-leaning. Um, pause. Um, but at the end of the day, it's like everybody on the panel, I guess, I don't know if it's everybody because I haven't heard everyone speak yet, if they are also left-leaning. But the responses that come, like it's, it's, it's almost like, Jordan Peterson is on the outside. Also, guys, if this is the type of content that you enjoy, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and also the bell. It It seems to me that it's not a point. We can can be as tough as we're being on the president, I think we should for all the reasons you just said, Bill, without telling his supporters that they're stupid, without saying basket of deplorables. If we want to bring them around to what I... Now, that's what I'm... That's the part right there that, that I actually appreciate. Like what he just now said... 
I appreciate that right be there. as tough as we're being on the president, and I think we should for all the reasons you just said, Bill, without telling his supporters that they're stupid, without saying basket right. of deplorables. If we want to bring them around to what I would say is a more enlightened uh, kind of thinking, and if we, want, if we want them to see Donald Trump as someone who's turned the presidency into one long infomercial for Mar-a-Lago, you know, we're, we can do that without saying to them, you've been duped, you're chumps, you're dumb, you're deplorable. And I think we need to talk to them with more generosity than we do. I'm, you're, I'm confused about how this dovetails with your thesis that the left is too preoccupied with being non-confrontational. Right? Is the left it, is too well, preoccupied just that with we being, are, that is that's interesting. Okay, yeah, that's, no, all right. No, that's I'm a good question. The idea that, that liberals, especially <clears throat> intellectuals, are, are preoccupied with politically correct speech, that they're oh, not... Oh, I see, I see. What you mean. And, and yet... No, they're pre too preoccupied with, with identity politics by a large margin. And they tend to categorize everyone by their ethnicity and their sex and their gender. And I think all that does is turn people into tribal actors and that the end result of that is catastrophe. But weren't you... Bars, bars, um, and 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 here's the thing: you don't hear any applause for anything that he's saying. And I know, and it's not about the applause or anything like that, but they do confirm or reaffirm who has made a, a valid point on this panel every single time someone says something. It's not a comedy show, but everybody keeps saying funny things to try to get a laugh here and there. But this is well, it is a comedy show. Um, I'm sorry, it, it actually is. But when they do make their points, that's more left leaning. Um, they do get more of a and uh, more of a reaction from the people who are out there in the in in the audience. It's turned people into tribal actors, and that the end result of that is catastrophe. But weren't you also saying though that that the left? Yep. Y'all see what happened at the um, at the Congress, huh? Huh, Y'all seen it happen at the House, the, the Capitol. I mean, it wasn't the Congress, the Capitol. Y'all saw what happened. He, it, it, it resulted to catastrophe. I mean, y'all saw exactly what happened. Actors and that the end result of that is catastrophe. But weren't you also saying, though, that, that the left is too worried about offending people? I think that that goes along with... I will. The, yes, Wait. yes. Well, that goes... <laughs> but then on the other hand... When the left, for example, offends people in the political sphere, you're questioning whether that's somehow bad for society writ large. Well, I'm concerned about, I don't, I think that those two issues are, I think that those two issues are somewhat separate. I'm concerned about the, the dialogue in the United States around the presidency pulling people, people farther and farther apart. It has nothing to do with the behavior of Trump. I think this is an independent issue. You can, you can say, Positive or negative, but he's only Trump there because they might. support him. You see, I, I know mean, that's the thing is, it's but not, that's the issue. That's the that's the issue is they did support him, and without and so, the circus, he's just a lonely clown. <laughs> yeah, but he has these this people in Congress who are enablers and this base that it is a cult of personality, not unlike dictatorships we've seen in the past. I mean, he said once famously, "I could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and not lose any fans." People have said that before. Has he really said that, man? <laughs> I need to go back and see that my dag on self. Because if he said that, and people actually believe it to be true, they said that he could actually do that and walk. He said once, famously, I could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and not lose any fans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And, he, and he has proved that to be almost true. I mean, we cannot imagine what he would do where they were turning them. Because I don't know what that would be. I don't think it's anything. Because whatever it was, he would just say, well, it's fake news. But, but okay, and so imagine he's impeached, just for the sake of argument. Impeached or convicted. Okay, either of those. But it seems to well, me... Well, that matters. That, One, he has to leave. Yeah, no, it's not, it's not an unimportant detail. But it still seems to me that it leaves you with the problem of what do you do with the disaffected 40% yes. that are going to be very unhappy right. about this, independent of Trump's behavior? Kind of like the Sunnis after we kicked over Saddam. Well, that's, that's a hell they of a precedent ISIS. to cite. Yes, mm, right, that's right. what I worry yeah, about. Let me, let me suggest that this is an... So they're, they're saying the same thing. Like, they're both worried about the same things. Um, if you completely just um, write off uh, an entire group because of who they support. And um, and you're very verbal, extremely verbal about the um, the 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 mental 
um, wherewithal of the people who supported him. Um, what exactly do you think is going to happen once you get there? president, their leader, the person that they believe in more than anyone um, up out of there or possibly convicted of a crime. And they're both saying it could lead to war or some some bad. So they get exactly what um, Jordan Peterson is saying. They're not going to give him the satisfaction, though. It's it's like it's it's almost like um, we're just going to continue to um, just just repeat to you exactly why um, he and his supporters deserve um, all of the the um, deserve everything that we give them, which which have you asking us the question that you're asking us right now. Like, this is why this is why this is why and this is why anything else. And and nobody in the in the um, in the audience, it seems to a. Uh, I don't know, support Jordan Peterson's um, point at all. And it seems like um, just because one person um, did things that they don't agree with or tried to lead in the way that was um, irresponsible or you know, outright, I don't know, the dude was just different. He was just a different dude. Um that the people who brought him in there or the people who supported him on a day-to-day basis, they also didn't matter. Like, if you're going to disrespect us, we're going to disrespect you. Not only are we going to disrespect you, but we're going to disrespect the people who supported you. Um, and that's that's the thing right there. Like, Donald Trump's still going to be rich. He's still going to be somewhere living it up. He's going to have a great life. He's going to have a phenomenal life. But sometimes we forget that the people who supported him the most were the um, were the people who were forgotten about. You know what I mean? Um, not only poor whites, but rich whites too. But just the people who were forgotten about. Now, uh, is it fair that we even give them that energy and try to make sure that they feel comforted and all this other stuff? Um, well, it's not my job. It's not your job. But at the end of the day is something to consider and have a conversation about to try to understand um, what happens when you are that that disrespectful um, to a whole entire group of people. What do you expect to happen after that? Like, what's, what's going to be the end result? The they became ISIS. To cite. Yes, mm, right, that's right. what I worry yeah, about. Let me Trump's suggest support. that this is an argument, uh, looking for an argument rather than a solution. We're not waiting for impeachment. We're making sure that people understand Donald Trump cannot stop us today. Donald Trump could not stop me from the first net neutrality bill to make sure people have access to the Internet. He could not stop us from doing that. He cannot stop us. He cannot stop us from acting on climate change with all this bloviating saying it, it's just a hoax. He can't stop us from fi- fighting climate change. He can't stop us from having the best uh, paid family leave well, and sick leave he, policy. He can't stop he, us. He, when we demonstrate he people can't progress stop us in our states. In Washington State. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he, 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 he certainly. No one that's an can stop us from boosting He certainly, he certainly is state. stopping us from protecting the environment. He has signed executive orders, right? The first thing he did in office would, he has, was to oh, sign an order that said, hey, you want to dump your coal sludge in the streams? Go right ahead. The he- really? <laughs> did he really do that, Rod? Oh, my gracious. Seriously, did he really do that? And from what I'm hearing, too, the guy that's sitting right to the right of, of Bill, um, um, Bill Maher, was just um, was what he was just now found guilty of wire fraud. So if y'all know anything about that, please let me know um, about that. I don't want to slander anybody's name that um, that that uh, did not actually do anything. But if they did, please let me know. All right. In order that said, hey, you want to dump your coal sludge in the streams? Go right ahead. The head of the EPA is Scott Pruitt. He's reversed all of. of no, all he this. just changed it to the Environmental Pollutant, Pollutants Association. I, I know, but, but just to say he can't stop us. And he's is, changed the it, tax landscape everywhere. Absolutely. I mean, you can't do anything he's in cha- your state. And he's appointing, with, yeah. he's appointing crazy judges left and yes. right. So here's he's the video. changing. He was appointing a whole bunch of judges and 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 removing people. Yeah. Um, now I don't know how much of that is his right to do. 
or what type of chess pieces he was moving around and all those other things. But I do know that that's something that they're able to do. Now, I get it. He they're naming all of the things that got them like completely perplexed with this guy. Still doesn't negate the fact that he has people um, that really believe in them. What about them? What y'all going to do for them? Um, not not do for them, but how do you address them to let them know that we don't believe that y'all um, were the reason that these things happened, but although y'all voted for him and got him in office, we don't, we don't, we, we hold y'all accountable, but we don't hold y'all accountable. I don't know how I'm, I don't know how to properly say that, but he, Jordan Peterson is just saying, don't forget about the people. I think they made the comment of the basket of deplorables earlier today, um, earlier in this video, because I believe that's what, um, that was one of the sound bites that they used a lot of when Trump was running against Hillary Clinton, because apparently she said that about his supporters. <laughs> she, oh man, the basket of deplorables. Oh, that's Things dis- as- that was disrespectful as hell, but it was funny. I'm sorry. That's why I just laughed because it was funny. But some of the most disrespectful things in the world are funny as hell. I don't know. I, y'all believe y'all follow Bill Burr and George Collins and all them people, right? So yeah, I know what I'm talking about. He's appointing, yeah. he's appointing crazy judges left yes. and right. So here's he's the good changing deal. things as we and speak. We don't cover up. it because of Stormy Daniels, but all of this is going on. <laughs> <laughs> and Stormy Daniels was the was the lady who he was having an affair with, or something like that, I believe. But anyway, yeah. So y'all let me know what y'all thought about that. So I'm I'm always uh I'm not about um right, left, politics, schmolitics. I give a damn about any of that. I mean I am about the people though. I want the people to be able to like still be able to vote within their interest as long as it's not hurting some other someone else or putting somebody in a position to to be killed who don't deserve it or putting someone in a position to be arrested if they don't deserve it, or um, putting somebody in a position to lose their their livelihood if they don't deserve it. Um, just, I'm, I'm here for people who are trying to come together to make this, this, this country and this world better for everyone, not just voting within their, their interests. See, my wife and I, we don't vote within our interests only. Most times we, we actually, we're like an Arnold Palmer when it comes to our voting habits. And and we're hoping that other people can take this on if they haven't already. We vote within our interests, but we mostly vote um, with, uh, within the interests of, of people who need certain things done um, for them around the world. Um, so we might be registered as one thing, but how we vote is sometimes completely opposite because we're looking at the whole pie and trying to figure out um okay what's this we're actually the people who will stand there and and, and read every single paragraph <laughs> while we're voting because and and my wife will fill me in on all of the political stuff that i haven't been following um i just ask her questions she'll she'll give me a great answer and yes all of her answers are great and i will i will move accordingly so um Sometimes we do got to care about the people. And that's the that's the side that Jordan Peterson was bringing in there. Just, okay, yeah, I don't like Trump, but what about the people? Huh? What about the rest of the people? What about them? So that's all I want. I want to hear what y'all got to say about this in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I am Van. And now we are all the LFR family. Please excuse me when I start babbling and stuff about politics because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about when it comes to politics. And I look forward to seeing y'all next video, hopefully inside of the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing. Love y'all.